everyone and welcome to Farm the Table, a very unique art and culinary show from origin by Aditi. And we are here today teaching you stir fry, eggplant with chilies and basil. So the speciality of today's culinary show is that it's really coming from the farm on the table to your houses in a very safe and secure way. But before we start, I would like to introduce myself. I am Aditi and I'm an artist, educator and philanthropist working towards the well-being of the community in Philippines. And uh, today we will be taking up some vegetables like eggplant, basil, some sesame seeds, garlic, um, honey, rice vinegar, soy sauce, some sesame oil and um, pepper and kosher salt. So everything that we are using is um, natural. The honey is also natural. We are using the Himalayan pink salt, which is good for health and it doesn't harm us. Um, the basil has been handpicked freshly from the farm where we would like to thank our organizers down to earth, uh, Mr. Jean for uh, Asia TV Studios and um, the organic farmers who have supported us in order to bring this show to you. Uh, start with chopping the eggplant and we start with slicing them diagonally into nice oval cuts which will be layered beautifully on your platter. Diagonal cut is important because we, I personally believe presentation is, uh, is a very important aspect of cooking. Okay, which And this waste that we have from the eggplant, do not throw this away, cut them into small pieces and learn from us how to add it to the compost for the vertical gardens that we are promoting uh, and encouraging people to use in their houses. So we do not take any food waste away from the homes, we use them in the homes to grow some more vegetables. Okay, so starting with, we have a pan over here. We add some sesame oil to it. About four teaspoons of sesame oil. Move it nicely in the pan. Once the pan is nicely hot, we put some garlic. So here we have some garlic cloves. We pick about four of them for two big large size eggplants. These garlic cloves can be procured easily from the market and every market has an organic section which you can explore and pick the naturally grown garlics. And also slice them into long and thin. So here we are. So our vegetables are done. We add garlic to the sesame oil. Stir it nicely. It's a short and quick dish won't take too much time easy to make here are the chilies the green chilies that are freshly picked from the organic farm again why I'm mentioning again and again the organic because we have to we are using very naturally grown chilies and we add it to the oil depends on your spice level if you like really spicy and um, nicely done food you could use more chili or you could put a lighter version give it a new flavor is to pick some beautiful basil half of it we chop and add to the oil to give a nice flavor the next step is eggplants cook the eggplants and spread it out nicely to get these eggplants cook well in the stir fry vegetable we will add a little bit of pink salt that's the Himalayan salt or the kosher salt you could add any of them and for it to cook well let's cover it and let it move it a little bit and let it cook for a while and while we are waiting for it to become a little softer and tender let's talk about how does cooking affect it helps us to make things at home easily and uh, smoothly not without even uh, bothering ourselves too much with elaborate dishes you can have this pair this with uh, boiled rice if you want or you can also take it pair it with any kind of bread uh, this is a stir fry vegetable which can which is easy to cook just a 10 minute recipe so here we are and uh, let's see how it is coming out now 
Okay, it's getting a little tender. So one of the tricks in cooking this vegetable is that the bigger pieces is, are going to take a little while, which is logical. So we spread it together, mix it and the bigger pieces we layer at the base of the pan and the smaller pieces we can put them on the side where the heat is a little lesser. So if you can see it closely, some of the pieces are done. The rest we shall wait for them to cook well. In between while it's cooking. So while it's still in its process of cooking, you could add a little oil based on the based on your need. It's because eggplant absorbs the oil and if you add a little oil it will give a nice glazy texture to it. So I have a very cute little guest, Ryan, over here. Hello. who's joining me he's a fond cook as well and he likes to prepare meals right sure. do you prepare yeah what do you like tell me i like cooking um, pizza i like cooking brownies i like cooking wow cookies. that's excellent so pizza do you start from the scratch like preparing the dough the sourdough as well or you uh, mostly we just find dough and we get tomato sauce and uh -huh. then we get cheese and then we bake it up Oh, that's excellent. And what are the toppings that you like? Do you like it on the sweeter side, like a pineapple I like topping? Pepperoni. Pepperoni, okay. And that that's, uh, yeah. would be tasting very good as well. Right. So, what do you think about this dish? I, I never really know this. Okay. But do you know, would you want to try it out later as a taste it? Sure. Yeah? That's great. Thank you for joining in today. And that was Ryan, our little guest over here who's also equally fond of cooking just the way I am. I started pretty young as well and it is just a hobby that has uh, brought me here today. Although um, art is my real uh, profession but then this is just something that I fondly cook for the family. Okay here we are. So it's spicy and it's tangy. Now it's time to add some rice vinegar. About two teaspoons and a little soy sauce about one and a half teaspoon so a little bit of pepper that we add it's a very normal I, I follow the heart when I'm cooking because cooking is or culinary is also an art that's what I feel and we are done the last thing that we add but before we add that we switch off the um, the gas or the electric the burner the heat we completely lower it and we add the honey and honey can be as per your taste buds again just like we added chili if you like a, if you have a sweeter uh, tooth then you can add a little more honey or else you can add little honey if you like the spicy and the tangy flavor on top of that we add a little more basil for fresh basil touch and some sesame seeds that we are going to use here to top up and especially when you cook it when you add these things with your fingers it adds your own aura and your own niche to the dish and stir fry eggplant made tenderly for all of you out here and here we are done with it to garnish it we have this beautiful basil over here homegrown in the farm and there you go the dish is ready for tasting I see is it <laughs> a little a little spicy yeah but yeah. I, mean, I love spicy okay so, yeah i find it very good it tastes very healthy uh -huh. and uh yeah it's kind of super good and then you get, you're able to give it some a lot of flavor so i think it's great wow yeah. it's yeah. a so, good recipe you know and it really and tastes healthy, healthy. Yeah. Yeah. and the way you prepare it it's mm -hmm. so easy yeah. right wow that's pretty good yeah so it's like uh kind of reminds me of korean something <laughs> Spicy? Hot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for joining in today. And uh, I would like to thank the organizers as well. Um, the SDG Villages, the Down to Earth and UP Town Centre for supporting us. 
as well as the armed forces of the Philippines for joining us today along with the noble queens of the universe, Queen Erin, Queen Patricia with her family who have been with us today to support us. And uh, yes, Miss Regine, who has always been the uh, pillar of support in every event. And um, I would like to please do follow us on Facebook and Instagram by Aditi by Origin. Although it is a show which has been uh, conceptualized by Origin by Aditi, that's me. And But nothing can happen without the support of each and every one. So thank you all and very grateful. Thank you so much.